It's day one here at MWC and we are off to a show-stopping start. The stand has been positively buzzing with visitors. We honestly have had such a great first day. We've talked with Margarita and so much more. Check it out. It's set to be another exciting year here at MWC, but what are you particularly looking forward to? I'm looking forward to people experiencing innovation in our stand. I'm looking forward to talk about what connectivity can do to transform particularly our businesses, unleashing their growth. And the stand here behind us, full of red, is also full of experiences to show our customers what can be done with digital innovation. MWC is always about the evolution of the industry. This year, I think it's really about, is AI real? Is it starting to scale? How is it embedding into real services for real customers? So seeing that, I think it's going to be amazing. Yeah, that brings me on to my last question very nicely. You cannot go anywhere without hearing AI. It's a big buzzword this year, but also a very crucial topic as well. So what areas are you particularly looking forward to hearing in the realms of AI? Uh, I think it's moving from the theory of AI, large language models, how you build frameworks, but how is it embedded into products? How is it going to make a difference to customers' lives? How can we monetize that and create new sources of growth for, for our industry, which is what we need, revenue growth. Yeah, absolutely important. We are introducing here a new concept. We call it Eastern Fiberlink. As the word says, it means that instantaneously and temporarily we're able to reestablish a link, a fixed link that was broken using drones, factory drones. Okay, and the, this is very important because sometimes the links get broken not only because of mistakes during uh, civil, civil works, but also due to some uh, disaster that might happen. So in those cases, unfortunately, the fixed network is destroyed for a while, and then you needed to have a means to uh, very quickly reestablish connectivity so that you can give a service to the people and people can again start sending important data, even saying I'm alive, whatever they need. And we are there to talk about the fact that despite all our impressive achievements, Europe is slowly falling behind and falling behind not just countries like US or China, but falling behind the growing number of low and middle income countries in connectivity. It doesn't need to be this way. We have a great innovation capability. The stand will show it today. And actually today we have a great European announcement from Vodafone. We are creating the very first satellite company in Europe dedicated to direct to device, which means you can use your normal smartphones everywhere you are. So the innovation is there. What's missing is an investment environment that allows us to scale that innovation in Europe. So that's what we are going to talk about because there is just so much potential. Our companies have the best talent. Uh, we have the best engineers, but we need the ability to scale and the potential that can be unleashed with European scale is huge. So we look forward to put Europe back in the fast lane. Yes.